alert. I love it. Uh, time to separate the real from the no big deal. Something or nothing. First up, Kayla Williams. 363 yards aided by a Hail Mary. Uh, two touchdowns, two interceptions, and a fumble. Bears lose. Stats look good on paper. On your screen, not so much. But, okay. Go. You think he played awesome? I, I, that's not what I said at all. I said, okay, I'm, you were doing a whole lot of editorializing and before we do it, so I was just waiting. I just don't. Okay, calling an audible here as the yeah. leader of the show. Uh -huh. Caleb, uh -huh. did he play awesome? No. Exactly. Moving on. That's what, no, that's not funny, but that's not, that's not the Something standard. Something or nothing. Caleb's gaudy numerical performance. It's obviously something. I don't. I don't. I don't know the. I. If if it would be better if I said he played amazing and then people can yell at me, that's fine. <laughs> Instead, I'll tell you what I actually think, which is there has been an obvious, clear week-to-week -week progression by Caleb that is exactly what you wanted to see. There were some bad mistakes in this game. It's also a game that I thought was. An abomination to lose from a team standpoint. Mm -hmm. To not be able to run the football on a team that was giving up 250 yards a game running. And my guy, DeAndre Swift, got 20 yards on 13 carries. <laughs> they not they, they, they get the ball. Uh, they, they get the They have first and goal from the four. Yeah. Run, run, run. Option where everyone falls down. Danny on breakfast ball did a good right. diagram of it this morning. All the offense line on the ground. Did, that's a debacle. But I think Caleb uh, played – I think this was the best game any rookie quarterback's played by far. I think Caleb is clearly getting better. I think Caleb, despite the awful statistical week one, here's the rookie quarterback standings up to this point if you'd like to see him. Uh, passing yards, he has the most. Now Jaden could get him tonight. tonight. Jaden's a game short. I understand that. Uh, passing touchdowns, let's see. Well, he's the only one with any. So that's – that again, if we're going to compare him to his contemporaries. And then, you know, quarterback wins, folks. Wins. And he uh, – no, he's tied with Knicks. And we'll see if Jaden, again, if he pulls off the upset, wins tonight. So, yeah, it's something. It is progressing in the right direction. It's also something bad for my Super Bowl pick, the team performance. But that's – if we're talking Caleb or the team, I don't know. Well, but, that's where I'm – look, it, I, I don't – I didn't pick him to make the playoffs. I, Definitely not a Super Bowl team. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. That was a horrible loss. And Caleb takes some of that, horrible too, because, you know, he came he three turnovers. late and played better. Right. He, he actually made some nice throws yeah. to Roma Dunze down the And field. the Hail Mary was He's a great gotten play. Better. But this is what, like, we talked about it before the season, the pressure and expectations. If it weren't these sky-high expectations on him, I think we'd be saying – like Nick like said, man, he's getting better every week. Like, I think we'd see clearer, but now we're all kind of looking at him as, can he lead him to the playoffs or beyond that? And I don't see that happening because Anthony Richardson was trying to give them that game. Oh. He was desperately trying to give the Bears that he game, was. and they couldn't take it. Correct. So, Caleb is showing that I think in the long run, he's going to be fine, and he is progressing and getting better every week. Yeah, I'll be quick. It's, it's, it's definitely something because you always want to see a young quarterback continue to grow and progress and make strides. And he's doing that even though he's still turning the ball over. But you're throwing – you're making them throw 52 times. Right. That you're making no Against the games. worst run no defense run. in the that league. But you can't run it. So this, is why, run. this is why it is something too because it's something also because he's doing this despite, in my opinion – a offensive coordinator well, that is not a putting genius. him in No, but you're right. Greg's right. Who called him a genius? I thought he was like the new Eberfield? whiz kid. Shane, no. Shane Waldron? Waldron? No. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I mean, he was the hot stuff. No, I mean, they got they got rid of Luke Getzey because right. everyone hated him, but I, I don't Waldron think that. But the, that, that is something, you know, what Greg's saying. Whether it's Eberflus and the OC or not, because it, are they going to have a coaching change after yes. this year? Yes. Okay, so right now, if it doesn't turn around, they're going like, to. I, now you got a young quarterback. That this has been the problem with a, a lot of these idea. guys. Yeah, keep exactly. Keep going in new, new regime. Greg, quickly, did you put the fumble, the uh, like strip sack fumble on Caleb, or was that just like a breakdown of the offensive line? I mean, their offensive line has kind of been terrible. But that was also, just so you know, that wasn't even their offensive line. That was a tight end. One on one blocking the Niners' 19th overall pick, Latu, Latu, yeah. Latu. Like that was just, now. I think a veteran quarterback feels that pressure sooner. Yeah. 
But I think almost any quarterback that gets hit yeah, like that, that is fumbling. That, yeah. yeah, Caleb made the, the, one of the picks was awful. Don't get me wrong, but I thought he, I thought it was stepping the right this direction. This guy, Steelers. 3-0 after down in the Chargers, Herbert had to leave the game. Fields may have ended the QB controversy before it started. First three-game winning streak of his career. Undefeated Steelers, something or nothing. I, I, listen, I think it is something in that they are building up enough of a cushion where they're now a viable playoff threat, but nothing more. I don't like. I don't. I, I to make the playoffs, or you yeah. think no, a viable threat to make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going into the year, I thought this is going to be Tomlin's first losing season. They're not going to make the playoffs. They were one of the easier. You know, when we picked teams that made to miss, they yep. were one of the first ones. I'm like, well, they're out. Mm -hmm. it, starting three and zero, oh, it gives puts them in. A, and they also remember have that brutal end of season stretch. What it is something for is this. I don't think Russell Wilson will ever start a game in Pittsburgh. That's what I think something. I, I think that this is just Justin Fields' job now. Yeah. And that kind of is a bummer for Russ, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm focused on. That's why it's something to me. Like, when you, when you take a player who was pretty much, like, thrown away and you lean into what he does really well, you simplify the game and you support him with a really good defense, you have him reading half the field, you are putting in runs – because that's what he does well. You're running the football to support him. They're doing everything you should do to support a guy that you feel like we're going to try to bring him along as we go throughout the season. Right. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's why it's something. And, yeah, I'm with you. Russell Wilson will be standing on the sideline hmm. for the remainder of the Could season, wow. especially the... if he's not turning the ball over. Right. And he's got one turnover, I yeah. think, one yeah. interception. Look, that defense is giving up. 8.7 points a game. Well, they, and they play well against the division, like give the, it a the, the Ravens and stuff. Just, just no, slam a nothing on there. It's something. Just say it's a nothing. It's something. Okay. <laughs> remember why, remember how team. you were saying correctly, I think, that through two weeks we didn't really know what defense was good and what wasn't? Yeah. I feel like definitively we can say now the Steelers' defense is excellent. I'm not being a smart ass. <laughs> no, the defense no, is being slip all. Like the, last the, year, the Broncos' defense, like they were terrible, and all no, of a sudden they got no, good. No, and by the way, the the Chiefs last year's pass defense was the best in football. This year they've struggled massively. Like yeah. the defense is flipped. The Steelers' defense is awesome. Yeah, like that. I know T.J. Watt yeah, is really good. is. Yeah, yeah, and Tom, yeah, Steelers' defense. Sam Darnold. Uh, I'm a Vikings guy, everybody, by the way. Uh, four <laughs> touchdowns yesterday. Leads the league in touchdowns. The Vikings are 3-0 and with wins over the 49ers and the Texans. Mm -hmm. Darnold this season. What in the world? Look at the passer rating. Only quarterback with 100 uh, passer rating in each of the first three games. Yeah. Something or nothing. I, listen, I... Nothing as far as wow. the, the Darnold piece of it. Really? Yeah, I mean, this is the Vikings are right now a testament to coaching. And Kevin O'Connell is great. Yep. And Brian Flores <laughs> is great. Crushing. Sam Darnold, I think, is still Sam Darnold. And just like I told America a week ago, Don't you dare. watch out for Derek Carr, pumpkin watch. I'll tell you now, watch out for Sam Darnold, pumpkin watch. Because I'm not going to, I know there is this, this hive of people led by my dear friend Colin Coward, my other friend Greg yeah. Rosenthal, that have wanted Sam Darnold to be a thing for a decade. It's not going to happen. Uh, the bigger something in this game to me, Greg, was Texans. This is the second straight game that Texans offense hasn't hummed. That's, you don't think that's you think that's a floor? I thought and it was a floor. Well, well, last they week they struggled against Chicago did. offensively. Did. The week did. before their offense worked, but their defense right. struggled against Indy. Like this team has not been, you know, the in, the instant contender. I think that we yeah. thought. Two hundred twenty-four total yards for C.J. Stroud yeah. and friends. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we're not talking about that. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about Sam Darnold, yeah. which is something, Nick. Okay. Let's be – let's – come on. Now. You're a Sam Darnold guy or just Vikings? Uh, he's a Darnold guy. Look, I'm a, I'm a KO guy. I'm a Kevin okay. O'Connell no. guy. He's former Patriot. Like, he, is, he has put this young man in a situation – He's not that young it's, anymore, it's, bro. It's no stress. He's younger than me. What is he? There's, there's no, no, 20, no stress. So he is Seven, younger than 26? Joe Burrow. I, I he mean, has it's shocking. 27. Yeah. He has all these weapons around him, so there is no pressure. It's like, okay, let's just get the ball in our hands of the playmakers. They got a great offensive line. They can run the football. Yeah. You got a running back that can catch out of the backfield. Right. It's just a matter of just don't turn the ball over, which I'm not saying he's going to be a hundred over 100 passer rating for the season. Like, I He's going to have a moment. So, 
your pumpkin watch. Pumpkin watch. It's I don't well, think he'll turn into pumpkin a pumpkin. Watch, right. I don't think you'll turn into a pump a, a complete yeah. pumpkin. But he'll have a game or two. What do you mean okay. a complete pumpkin? So you think you'll have a good season? You think you'll have a really I nice do. season? I Did do. you pick them for the playoffs? No. Oh, they they they, they got a shot. We'll like, uh, that's the other, thing that's, that's really the other thing that's really thing that's really problematic for my Bears is Detroit's There's two no and one, yes. Green right. Bay's two and one.